Ho, ho, ho. What's going on, guys? Apeglitch79 here. And welcome again to the 12 nostalgic days of Christmas. So be sure you subscribe and hit that bell because I'm going to have guests on almost every episode and you're not going to want to miss it. So grab yourself a hot drink, nestle down by the fire, and let's get nostalgic. So in today's episode, I'm going to talk about getting the Sega Genesis for the first time and more importantly, the first game I was able to buy with it, and that was Thunder Fox. But before that, I want to pass it over to Pat from Game On to talk about his most nostalgic game. Let's know what that is, Pat. Thanks, 8-Bit. So when you asked me to pick a game for the 12 Days of Nostalgia, it was a pretty easy pick. This is one of my favorite games of all time, and that game is Dragon Force for the Sega Saturn. I have put so many hours into this game and there's been times where my battery on my Saturn has died and my file would be gone and I would restart it but I would never be that upset because I love playing this game. This was a game that I bought when it first came out for the Saturn back in the day and Shortly even after its release, it was pricey. I got a loose copy for, I think, around 50 bucks, which back in the mid-90s, that, that was a lot. And it didn't have a manual, so I taught myself how to play because there was also not Game Facts or YouTube or a strategy guide. And the learning curve is, it's, I don't think it's, you know impossible to learn on your own but it's, it's a little steep but just you know being persistent once I got the hang of this game I, just, I couldn't put it down and it's just been one of those games that on a rainy day or a snowy day I can play and eat up an entire day my kids used to love watching me play this you're basically trying to take over this map you've got like mages and fighters and uh, thieves, things like that, and each one can command so many uh, troops. And you can have dragons, and harpies, and zombies, and archers, cavalry. It's just, you can have battles with up to 200 people on the screen, fighting in real time, all at the same time. It is amazing to watch. You've got just all of this going on, they're rushing at each other. You can hold back so many. You can send so many up to the front. You can flank around and just with a click of a button you're you're telling all these people what to do. And you can basically have, you know, 20 archers up front, followed by 60 zombies, followed by 20 cavalry at the end to kind of clean up the mess. Or you can just charge all with one thing. You know, it's you also have to worry about fortifying each castle that you're leaving so say you take five people from this one to go take over this castle you got to make sure you leave about four or five people or two or three depending on who's around you so you don't want to get that one taken over or this guy back here that you're hardly it's kind of off the beaten path but somebody could just come out of nowhere and try to take that one over so you're always micromanaging each castle and you don't want to leave nobody out as far as you know upgrading them and and awarding them medals and things like that it's a shame that this game is so expensive because everyone should own a copy if you have a saturn a loose copy of this will run you around 80 to 90 bucks and a complete copy is around 180 to 200 but if you look at all the top 10 lists of, of Saturn games of all time. This one's always in usually the top five, top three. I mean, look at the packaging. It's got this raised foil packaging, you know, with this shiny um, foil there, front and back. Even on the spine, it's very shiny. The artwork, the working designs did a stellar job at porting this over from the Japanese release. And this game, everyone should own this game. So, Burn a copy if you have a modded Saturn, play the ROM, or try to get a loose copy, but just do yourself a favor, 
and try and play this game. It's one that most people have never heard of, but they're really missing out. So this is my pick, and I'm sticking with it. Back to you, 8-Bit. Thanks, Pat. That looks like a really cool game. I'm going to have to check that one out. So, today I'm talking about my nostalgic story of getting my Sega Genesis and my first game, Thunder Fox. Well, I had a friend um, growing up, and uh, he was kind of a, the whole family was a family friends. Uh, my, my parents were friends with the parents, and uh, their son, who was a lot older than me, we got along though. Um, he went through a lot of trouble because he has uh, multiple sclerosis. And I know right now he's not doing too, he's doing worse than he was back then, but uh, it, he was really cool to hang out with, even though he was a lot older than me. Uh, he got me into music, got me into video games uh, a lot. So he had an Atari 2600 and then an NES. And then I remember we went on a camping trip, my family, and I asked if he could come along. And sure, so we went camping one weekend, and it was funny because we picked him up, and he just got back from buying his first Sega Genesis system, and we were like, "Oh my God, this is so cool!" And uh, but we were taking off to go camping, so we had to leave it in the box and just take off. So we went camping. It wasn't a uh, far away uh, camping ground, so we weren't far from home. But I remember we were camping, and for some reason, the campground was like infested with like bees or hornets. I can't remember bees or hornets, something, something like that. And uh, it was like the worst camping experience ever. It's like no matter what campground you had, it was just like you were crowded by bees and hornets. Um, so I remember distinctly he uh, he had trouble walking because he had MS um, and stuff. So he was trying to eat a sandwich at lunch in the camp, like but the bees and things kept landing on his sandwich and he couldn't move fast enough, like away, he tried, you know? And uh, it, it's not funny to laugh at, but we were, he was laughing, we were all laughing, we just thought it was funny. So it basically ended up killing our whole camping trip because uh, of the situation and we packed up early, which we were glad because we had that shiny Sega Genesis waiting for us to play. We got back to his place and my parents decided to stay for a while, which was great, and we hooked that Genesis up, and we played Sonic for the first time, and it blew us away. Sonic, the way it was, the blast processing and all that stuff, it was just amazing to see a game like that. Um, so I desperately wanted to get my own. Well, a few months later, uh, I was able to earn up some money doing odd jobs here and there for people and stuff. And uh, my dad agreed to pay for like part of it if I paid for part and stuff. So I remember going to the Tronics Boutique at the mall and grabbing my Sega Genesis. I didn't drag it down here because it's upstairs and it's all hooked up with the power. The power. So I didn't feel like dragging it out. So I got the Sega Genesis with, this, with the Sonic and then I had enough to buy one game. And it had to be a used game. And so I saw this Thunder Fox. And because of my love of Contra and stuff like that, I just looked at that cover and said, Oh my God, this is going to be amazing. So I picked it up. I remember it was like $12.99 back in the day used. Um, I'm not sure what it goes to today. I never thought to look it up. Maybe I'll put it down here. Um, but it, you know, this is the same one, complete, that I got. And uh, basically, if anybody doesn't know what Thunder Fox is, um, Guys, sorry, cat and dog are at it. And uh, <laughs> it's like a side scrolling beat em up in the vein of like uh, Russian Attack or um, what am I thinking of? Uh, Ninja Warriors, where you go just left to right straight and fight the oncoming enemies from behind and in front. Uh, there's only like five stages, it's not a very long game, but I remember I had a hard time beating this game. And I just remember when I finally did it. I was just like so thrilled about it. Um, it's, it, I wouldn't say it's the greatest game. I think it's worth a playthrough once. Uh, just check it out uh, if you can. I mean, I wouldn't go out of your way and spend a lot of money on this. Like I said, I don't even know what it goes for. But um, if you got a chance to check it out, I highly recommend you do it. It's a fun. It's a quick play. Uh, I'm sure Mega Dan and Captain would beat this in a blink of an eye right out of the gate. So no death. But 
you get to use sub weapons like machine guns, flamethrowers, rocket launcher, grenades. Um, so yeah, Thunder Fox. So that's my story of my first Genesis and my first Genesis game, Thunder Fox. So I hope you enjoyed this trip down memory lane. Uh, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell for the future episodes. And this is 8BitGlitch79, and I'm glitching out.